It's the video announcement everyone's talking about in the sports world and beyond. NFL player Carl Nassib becoming the first active player in the league to come out as gay. And this morning, local LGBTQ advocates are joining the conversation. And they're speaking up about the importance of recognizing the stigma against queer athletes. NBC5's Lauren Granada is live in Burlington right now. And Lauren, this is a huge step forward when it comes to inclusion in youth sports. It is Sarah Beth Tom. Nearly two thirds of states have introduced anti transgender bills in youth sports in 2021 alone here in New England, Maine, Connecticut and New Hampshire have all done so. But organizations like Outright Vermont are thankful that NASIB coming out is introducing the conversation to more young athletes. What's up, people? I'm Carl NASIB. I'm at my house here in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Just want to take a quick moment to say that I'm gay. As Las Vegas Raiders defensive end Carl Nassib becomes the first active NFL player to come out. I feel like it's absolutely swept under the rug. Local athletes reflect on the hurdle LGBTQ community members face in sports. I don't hear it like being talked about that often, especially within men's teams. Sophomore Jamie Lashua is on the men's soccer team at UVM. While he doesn't identify as a member of the LGBTQ community, he understands the team environment has the potential to create an unsafe space for those who do. There's a stigma around it. Like, it's definitely a scary thing because, you know, there's obviously people who don't accept it. On the continuum of sort of what it means to be masculine in this in this society, um, we're talking about somebody who's really breaking down norms and saying this is who I am and I'm also a great athlete. 58 anti-transgender bills have been introduced in 33 states within the last five months, banning trans youth from joining gender-specific sports teams. Social justice organizations like Outright Vermont speaking out for those who feel like they can't. It is actually a protective factor for LGBTQ youth and specifically trans youth to find community connection and belonging and that's what being on a sports team is. The former president of the Vermont State Athletic Directors Association says it's not a new conversation but one that's ongoing. When we have somebody in a public figure um, such as this that's able to step forward um, and and provide that role model of, of confidence and acceptance in oneself that's a win for everybody. Now, Vermont is not a part of the 33 state states that have introduced anti-trans bills in youth sports. Uh, the Vermont Principals Association specifically encourages all youth to participate in sports, no matter how they identify. We're live in Burlington this morning. Lauren Granada, NBC5 News.